I've come today to meet my guest, who is a goalkeeper who played 344 league games for Queen's Park Rangers and then followed it up with another 344 for West Ham United. It's Phil Parks, a giant of a man and giant in his consistency as well. He went on playing at the top level until almost his 41st birthday. He won a cup winner's medal for West Ham in one of Wembley's great upsets and just one cap for his country. Bill Parks' misfortune was to have a career in goal at the same time as Peter Shilton and Ray Clements. At any other time, this man from the West Midlands would have had a lengthy international career. But he rarely complained. He recognises he played for good clubs, with great players, and in some memorable matches. Phil, you carried on playing until you were something like 41. Nearly, the... nearly 41, yes. Yes, yes. And that was at Ipswich? It was, yes. Uh, the story of how, it, how it all came about was um, John took me down to Ipswich. At John end, Lyle. John Lyle, at the end of at the, my career at West Ham. And uh, he um, sort of got me there as an understudy to Craig Forrest. He wasn't sure. He said, you might get a game in the first team. But you know, at that age, I was just happy to, to be involved and carry on playing. I played in the reserves. And I was like the granddad of the side, really. I mean, all of them were younger than my, <laughs> my two kids. <laughs> so it was quite strange. And um, end of the season, and I've got a friend in Guernsey. And he wanted some work doing on his hotel. And obviously, being a carpenter by trade, uh, he rang me up and said, you know, have you got any chance of getting some carpenters together? He said, I'm desperate, I've got a deadline to make. So I went to see John and I said, there was four games left of the season. And uh, he said, uh, yeah, of course you can go. You know, he said, there's no problem. He said, as long as you can get back, if there's a problem. And I said, well, there won't be a problem, Craig's young, fit. He said, well, just in case. So I've gone over to Guernsey and I've, we were there for four days. And on the Thursday, sure enough, I get a phone call, Craig's got a groin strain which is always dodgy to prove and I'm mm. sure he did it on purpose. I'd, I'd have to fly back and I played the last three league games, uh, nearly nearly 41. And so how did how did John Lyle react with you in the dressing room? Uh, well it was quite again a funny story because John, uh, we've gone down there and uh, warmed up and everything got in and he's coming to do his team talk and go through their team and everything else and uh, he just turned to all the rest of the lads and he said well obviously he said we've got a new keeper in today, he said uh, I want you to help him through. The, the game, he says, because he could be a little bit nervous, you know, a little bit inexperienced. <laughs> you know, played 940 odd games, and he said, like, yeah, and he, he was a real wind up. But it was great because I think it helped. Because at the time, um, the side Ipswich were in trouble. They were you know, just above the relegation, and they needed a couple of wins or a few more points to get clear. And I think that really eased the tension yeah. of the game because it was an important game. Yeah. And you won it? So we went out and won 3 1. Against? Uh, Leicester. Leicester. Uh, oh. against, uh, and again, against another old mate of mine who was playing centre forward was uh, David Kelly from, oh, West right. Ham, from West Ham days. Yeah, of course. So, yeah. But of course, when, when you think of your international career, it was one cap. But I mean, you were very unfortunate to be born at about the same time and play at the same time as Peter Shorten and Ray Clements. That's right. And, and also, um, Joe Corrigan was around at the same time. So there was the four of us, I think, uh, at, at any time, probably the f any one of us could have, could have gone in and, and sort of got 10, 20 caps in a mm. run. And obviously... Mm. You had Peter Shilton and, and Ray Clemens were fighting out for, for, for the number one spot mm. and, and me and Joe were around as mm. number three and four. But your big chance came. How did that happen? Well, that was, again, um, well, I was saying to him about Joe Corrigan, but Alan Stevenson uh, was the young keeper with me in the under-23s. He was at Burnley. He was the Burnley mm. keeper, yes. And we, we sort of shared the under-23, a little bit like Shilton and Clemens did a little bit later. Mm. Um, under Greenwood, I think mm. it was, wasn't it? That's when right. when they, they sort of kept changing and uh, each game. And we did the same in the under-23s, which I don't think wasn't s such a bad thing because there was mm. quite a lot of games anyway. Mm. And um, the, the, our chance came about, well, my chance came about, because they, Leicester were playing Liverpool in the replay of an FA Cup game. And uh, So that ruled out Shilton and That ruled Clements. out Shilton and Clements. Mm. And so along came me and uh, Alan Stevenson. Yeah. And, and who and chose got, you? Uh, it's Alf Ramsey, or Sir Alf, yeah. And uh, unfortunately, it was to be his last game in charge. Um, there were six new caps that night, actually, in the in the side. Which because it, because of this replay with with Liverpool, there was quite a lot of Liverpool players who, who were obviously in the England squad at the time, um, and the likes of youngsters like uh, Stan Bowles. And then a young man who went on to play a few more times, Trevor Brookin. Uh -huh. <laughs> he, 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 oh, that's Trevor's, Trevor's first. Trevor's first game yeah. too. Um, I'm not sure whether it was Malcolm McDonald's. I've got a feeling it might have been his debut as well. Yeah. 
So there was a, a few of us. That was, of course, uh, in Lisbon against Portugal. It finished in a nil-nil draw. Alf Ramsey uh, was the manager then. How did you find Alf? Um, he, he was fine. I mean, he, he didn't have any, any idea that he was going to get the sack at all. And I mean, I played under Alf in the under-23s um, and been in the England squads and you know, in the World Cup squads and everything with it for in, in 70 and things. And so it, it was um, a bit of a shock when, uh, when we came back and, and a little while after that, uh, he, you know, he got the sack. Yeah. We all felt a bit sad for him, obviously, because he, he was a great, well, going back, he was a great character and a great motivator. And he, yes. he was probably the last of the managers who was aloof. Um, yes. and you almost, we were in awe of him and a little bit of fright, a bit like the, the Busby um, sort yes. of tradition at Manchester, Manchester United. Let's go back right to the start now. Uh, you're a West Midlands boy and you started at Walsall. Now, how did that come about? Um, well, it was really strange actually because originally I, I, I got the chance to go to Walsall. Um, they come and said, well, I want you to come down, sign school boy forms and come down training. And uh, I, one thing I hated, and I hated all through my career, was running. I mean, I think most goalkeepers do. There's very few who like running. Uh, and so all I did when I went to Warsaw on Tuesday and Thursday evenings was run around the pitch. Um, and so I had a bit of a barney with a, the, the coach the one night and said, well, look, I'm a goalkeeper. You know, I, don't, I don't have to come here to learn to run. And, uh, you know, sort of cheek little upstart mm. off you get. Out. Mm. And so that was it, you know, end of story at Warsaw. Um, then I went off playing. In, I went as apprentice carpenter, playing in various leagues and... Um, then I got, I got to play for a, a side called Bradley Hill um, in the Alliance, in the West Midland League up there. And I'd played quite well in a few games and sort of all of a sudden, you know, scouts started to come round and take, take notice. Uh, and then they all came. Then they all came. Um, West Brom, Birmingham, Aston Villa, and then Walsall. And so they all came. And so I thought, well, you know, and, and it sort of really was a... It was like a bit of a red rag to me that saying, well, Walsall have come back in for me. They kicked me out two years ago, and I'm going there, and I'm going to bloody prove them wrong. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah. I did, and Good. I went there. And who was the manager there? Um, the manager was Ray Shaw, oh, yeah. who then went, he left after about six, seven months I was there, and then he went off to Leicester, I believe. And then we had, uh, I mean, I, 